Thank you for all being for being here this evening. Just a few short announcements. Super Saturday Men's Club Fundraiser will be Saturday, February the 3rd at 6 to 8 p.m. in the CNT Social Hall. Buy some soup to take it home and support the Men's Club, which is the Mench Club. The Social Action Committee is stand starting to collect travel toiletries for Mitzvah Day on March the 18th. There are collection boxes in the main lobby. Please donate shampoo, soap, body lotions, deodorant, toothpaste, and brushes. They will be made into packets and be given to the homeless. We're trying to uh, shorten the announcements so everybody doesn't get bored with long announcements, but please check your emails because everything that I don't give you is there. Good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom, everybody. I don't think this thing is working very well. It's working? Okay. Um, so, if you looked, if you followed social media this week, Emil created a very cute ad that said, Just Jess, which really meant, Rabbi's out of town. So, <laughs> um, only my close friends and family call me Jess, but I'll let you call me Jess tonight. So, uh, because you are my close friends and family. So, um, we are going to begin on page 131 with um, Shira Lutter and I. We're going to have some, some classics. I'm going to throw some classics back in there tonight. So hopefully you'll sing along with me. And we'll join together in Shabbat. Shira Bring in the light of Shabbat. 
We call to the Bima Rhonda Mushkin to light the Shabbat candles this evening. After we light the candles tonight, I want to try something. I want you to keep your eyes closed for just a moment and bring in the good memories of this past week. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kishanu b'mitzvata v'tzivanu Lehad likner, lehad likner, lehad likner shel Shabbat Lehad likner shel Shabbat Page 138, we welcome the Shabbat Bride, Lecha Dodi. Lecha Dodi, Likrat Kala, Likrat Kala, Pene Shabbat, Nekabla, Nekabela, Lecha. Shamor vizachor bedibur echad, Hishmi anu el hami uchad, Adonai echad, Ushimo echad, L'shem ultif eret velitim. Nekabla, Nekabela, Likrat Shabbat lechu v'nelcha, Ki mekor ha-beracha, Merosh mikadam nesucha, Sof ma'ase b'mach ha-shava, Tehila. Lecha dodi, Likrat kala, Likrat kala, Shabbat Nekabla Nekabela. Please rise. Boi Vishalom Ateret Bala Gum Besimcha Boy, 
seated. Page 142, we greet the Shabbat angels, Shalom Aleichem. But before we do, uh, there's some friendly new faces, some friendly old faces. Why don't we greet each other with a Shabbat Shalom? Page 142. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Shalom, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Baruchoni Shalom, Malachi Shalom, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh. Calling forward anyone in our B'nai Mitzvah class, anyone becoming Bar Bat Mitzvah before the end of 2018 to help us in leading a couple of the prayers tonight.
remain standing. Page 149, we read together at the top. Praise to you, Adonai God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars, creator of the tide of time and light. You guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Adonai, Hamari Varavi. Page 151, at the bottom we read responsively with Douglas. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol, all these things the Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love? than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives its form. Baruch Adonai, O Hevamo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Hero Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed is God's glorious majesty forever and ever. Please be seated. really good practice for them before they become B'nai Mitzvah to get the jitters out by being in the small room, leading you all in prayer, and it's cute too. <laughs> Page 157 at the bottom, we read responsively. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed.
So this Torah portion, which you'll hear about in a little bit when I give a Devar Torah, is Bishalach, and it is at right after the Israelites have crossed through the Sea of Reeds um, and what happens next on their journey. And there's the um, notorious Shirat Hayam, the Song of the Sea, which is beautifully uh, if you, uh, illustrated in the Torah. If you've ever seen it, it looks like the sea with the text. Um, so there is a melody specifically for Shirat Hayam. And since I won't be singing it for you tonight in the Torah, I thought I would add it in our Khatima here so you can hear what the sound is. So I'm going to start on uh, the fourth line from the bottom on page 156 in the middle. Vamachuta beratzon ki belu alehem Moshe u Miriam uvene Yisrael lechanu shira besim charaba veamru chula. Mocha by Lima Donai, me Kamocha, Nedarba Kodesh, Nora Tehilot, O Se Fele, Nora Tehilot, O Se Fele, Malchutecha, Rauva Necha, Bokea. Lifne Moshe u Miriam Zeli anu ve'amru Adonai imloch, Adonai imloch Le'olam va'ed Ve'nemar ki fada Adonai et Yaakov Ugelo mi ar chazak mi menu baruch ata Adonai gal Israel. It's one of my favorite melodies. Page 160. Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu L'shalom, L'shalom V'hamideinu Shomreinu L'chaim U'fros aleinu Sukkach l'omecha U'fros aleinu Sukkach l'omecha Shelter us beneath thy wings, O Adonai. Guard us from all harmful things, O Adonai. Keep us safe throughout the night till we wake with morning's light. Teach us God wrong from right. Amen. 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 
page 162. Vishamru b'nei Israel et hashabat la asot et hashabat ledorotam very tolam. Vishamru b'nei Israel et hashabat la asot et hashabat ledorotam very tolam. Shabbat la soaked at Hashabbat Ledorotam, very tall. Kishashat, Kishashat, Yamim, Yamim, Asadonai, at Hashamayim, Shamayim, Bet, Vishamim, and they. Hashabbat la sot et hashabbat le dorotam very tolam uvayom uvayom ashvi ashvi shavat vaynafash shavat shavat vaynafash vishamru v'nei Hashabbat, la asot et hashabbat, le dorotam, very tolam. Last time, everybody. Visham Rubene Israel, et hashabbat, la asot et hashabbat, le dorotam, very tolam. Fight back up our B'nai Mitzvah class to lead us in the Amidah, page 164, please rise. Pray as if everything depended on God, act as if everything depended on you. Ufia gita hilate ha. I don't know. Open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Barukacha Adonai. Hello, hey, new. Viole avotenu, viamotenu. Hello, hey, Avraham. Hello, hey, Yitzchak. Hello, hey, Yaakov. Sadim Tobit, the Kone Hako, the Soher Hase Avotim, the Gilla, the Name, the Mashimo, the Hava, the Hoser Umashima Uma Gain, Baruka Tad and I, Magain, Abraham is Rotara, Ataki Borle. So make no 
We pray that we might know before whom we stand, the power whose gift is life, who quickens those who have forgotten how to live. We pray for the winds to disper disperse and the choking air of sadness, for cleansing rains to make parched hopes flower, and to give all of us the strength to rise up toward the sun. We pray for love to encompass us for no other reason save that we, that we are human, for love through which we may bl all blossom into persons who have gained power over our own lives. We pray to stand upright, we fallen, to be healed, we sufferers. We pray to break the bonds that keep us from the world of beauty. We pray for opened eyes, we who are blind to our own authentic selves. We pray that we may walk in the garden of a purposeful life, our own powers in touch with the power of the world. Praise be the God whose gift is life, whose cleansing reigns, let parched men and women flower toward the sun. We take a moment for silent meditation using the words through page 180 on the right or left side of the page or the words within your heart. When you've completed your prayers, please be seated. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Shalom Rav. 
I was getting so into listening to you pray that I forgot where I was. <laughs> See, guys, I do make uh, mistakes, too, so it's, it's okay. All right. I'm also on a cleanse, and I'm not eating meat. I'm blaming everything on that. <laughs> um, all right. So we want to take a moment now to think of those in the bed of illness. We go to page 371, if you need the words, for Misha Barach. There are many people in our hearts right now. There are people in this room who need our prayers, people who have experienced loss recently, people who are struggling with addiction, people who have terminal illnesses and illnesses that are keeping them down. We pray for all of them, for their strength, for their comfort. If there are people you are thinking of tonight, please rise and say their names. rise together for the Misha Barach. Misha Barach Avoteinu Mekor Habracha before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen. Me Bless those in need of healing with Refua Shilema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Freedom. How did it appear as an opportunity in our text, and how can we express it today in order to uncover our best selves? Our parsha, Bishalach, means when he let go, not like in Frozen. It refers to Pharaoh's brief decision to let the Israelites go and run towards their freedom. The aftermath of that decision is what unfolds in the parsha the bitter sea, the Philistines drowning and the Israelites both complaining and celebrating their new circumstances. It is probably the most dramatic scene in our textual history, one that has been written and rewritten in cinema and stage, and really helps define us in many ways. When we think about it, taking those early steps toward freedom at the crossing of the sea was like stepping into a vast unknown. They were barely living as they slaved away in a previous life, Freedom was not only a reality they had never known, but also a reality none of their recent ancestors had ever experienced. What would you do with newfound freedom? This new independence wouldn't come without struggle. Initially, the biggest struggle was fear. One would think that the Israelites would be filled with exuberant song, 
and they were, but it was short-lived until reality set in. What would come next? In Egypt, they were slaves, but now they were on the journey to the promised land on their own. What would they do? This journey would in no way be easy for them, and yet they wanted it to be. But the truth we know is that nothing worth it comes easy. It was time to stop relying on God and turning to Moses for the answers. Now they were the lifelines to guidance, and the Israelites themselves had to pave their own road to real freedom. This makes us think about our own lives and our own trials and tribulations. Which of us have not stood on that cliff and wondered, is this life? Whether it be our financial situation, our health, our relationships, we all have been slaves in our own lives, seeking our own exodus. So how did the Israelites deal? In Shemot, in Exodus 15, they sang their song to Adonai, Shirat Hayam. They prayed. They said, Mi chamocha, Bailim Adonai, who is like you, Adonai? But how did these prayers provide answers? It helped them grow, hold fast to strength, begin to change from deep within their souls. And prayer helped the people begin to have clarity. You see, Moses was much more comfortable praying than acting. He modeled what it looked like to be propelled by prayer and urged the people to take action in writing the next chapter of their story. So tonight we spoke the words around the Amidah in the Mishkan Tefillah, pray as if everything depended on God and act as if everything depended on you. This could be the most earth-shaking line in our whole sea door. We pray and we think God will act because of our prayers. Rabbi Rick Jacob put it perfectly when he comments on this week's parsha. We are God's hands and feet. God is not a cosmic vending machine. We pray to find comfort. We pray to strengthen our soul. We pray in gratitude for our many blessings in life. We pray to the source of all life so that we can be the change that we want to see in the world. Ultimately, the world depends on us. God gave us free will, and it's up to us to act with integrity and raise the stakes for humanity. We can't stand idly in front of God and just waiting for the prayers to be answered. Our prayer and the motions we take with it both collective and individual, they have a domino effect in inspiring action. Whether or not our voices are heard, we speak up. This past Sunday, for example, multitudes of people rallied for women's rights in Las Vegas. It was incredible to see passionate hearts from around our city standing in solidarity for beliefs near and dear to so many of us. They took a leap of faith to be there, and they knew their presence and passion would be felt heard, and hopefully given response. Perhaps we made a New Year's resolution. It's 26 days into that resolve. Where are we? Did we will it, or did we do it? One cannot simply say, my New Year's resolution is to give up sugar. It means trying new recipes, ordering new things, and preparing for a life without that sugar. Did you slip a little? You know it's okay. Here comes our tradition again with another chance to refocus and reimagine. Tu Bishvat, the birthday of the trees. It can be a birthday for you too. A time for clearing out the brush and everything stuck inside of it and planting new harvests to grow tall and strong. We can be the tree. By choosing to renew ourselves this season, we don't need to be content with disappointment and pain be the change in our own lives and in our own community. This week has been spent helping the Chen and Frankel families mourn the loss of their beloved mother, grandmother, aunt, and friend. As we heard Fern's unbelievable life story of orphanhood at a young age and narrowly escaping the Nazis more than once during the Shoah, we were given a glimpse into a human being who took her freedom and turned it into great action. While remaining firm in her Jewish faith, she raised multiple generations to not only love being Jewish, but also to be the backbone of their community. Not only would she not be silenced, but the generations to come after her would not be silenced. For that, 
her legacy will remain as long as her line of generations. Fern planted the tree. Her children are the branches, and her grandchildren and great-grandchildren are the fruit. Much like the Israelites in, e in Egypt faced a torment unthinkable to us all, when she was freed from Nazi slavery by the Russian army, she took that miracle and created a pathway to a rich and meaningful life. If the Israelites could move forward after slavery, and Fern could move forward after Auschwitz, it should seem easy for us to pray and act with full hearts, right? Whether we are rising up for what is right or creating the best version of ourselves, let us look to those who came before us for inspiration. You have brand new roots in the ground and freedom to grow. Sky is the limit. Shabbat Shalom. We begin to conclude our service on page 586 with Alenu. Please rise. I'm going to do something we don't usually do. I'm going to do the whole thing. Alenu le shabeach la don ha kol la tate gedula le otzer bereshit shelo asanu kegoye haratzot velo samanu kemish pechot adama shelo sam chelkenu kahem vegor alenu kecho hamonam va anachnu korim. Umishtachavim umodim, lifne melech, malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Shehuno te shamayim veyoser aretz, umoshav yikaro ba shamayim imal, ushchinatu zo, ushchinatu zo, begov hemeromim. Hu Eloheinu einod, emet malkinu efesulato, kakatuf betarato, v'adata hayom v'hashevota v'hashevota elevavecha, ki Adonai hu ha'elohim b'ashamayim imal ve'aharetz ve'aharetz mi Tachat ein od ein od v'nemar v'hayadonai l'melech al kol haaretz v'yom ha'hu v'yom ha'hu yadonai echad u'shema u'shema. Please be seated for a moment. We turn to page 598 for our mourner's Kaddish. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. If I say a name of your loved one, please feel free to rise at that time. We mourn the recent passing of Mary Wagner, Patrick James Fitzgibbon Jr., Anna Fitzpatrick, Marcelli Diaz, Sid Aaron Cohen, Florence Stein, Michael Sinderman, Bob Carter, Sheldon Barnett, Lorraine Schwartz, Adam Frogel, Arnold Poster, Fern Chenin. And we observe the yard sites of Sam Barnett, Fanny Berger, Lois Berman, Louis Birnbaum, M Morton Chase, Eli Davis, Dallas Ellis, Gary Ewan, Ken Falk, Samuel Foreman, 
Edward D. Frank, Dorothy Freed, Arthur Friedner, William Gableman, Alan Garbus, Sylvia Goldberg, Lawrence Harris, Fred Jensen, David Katzman, Eleanor Koppel, Alvin Buddy Le Levy, Lucy Lunenfeld, Dennis Mack, Leo Moskowitz, Madeline Nitzkin, Ruth Portner, H. Sam Prezant, Herman Rabinowitz, Ludmilla Mila Rub Rubinov, Richard Sachs, Bob Sassner, Philip Weinberg, Dorothy Werner, Nelson Werner, Claude Wilton. If there are names that have not been mentioned that you would like to say Kaddish for, please rise. We rise together in solidarity. Page 598. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei raba ve'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayefon v'yomechon v'chaye dechol beit Yisrael v'agala u'bizman kariv v'imru amen v'yehe shemei raba mevorach le'olam l'alnei almaya v'yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnasei Viet Hadar, Viet Ale, Viet Halal, Shemei de Kudisha, Berichu, Leela, Minkol, Verchata, Vishirat, Tush Bechata, Venechamata, Dami Ranbe Alma, Vimru, Amen. Yehesh Lama Raba, Min Shemaya, Vechaim Alenu Vel, Kol Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. O say Shalom. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel, to which we say, amen. amen. Please be seated. I'd like to call forward for our Kiddush and Motzi, um, our friends from religious school. Feel free to come forward. And um, because it's been a hard week, I want to call forward anyone who has lost someone this week to uh, join us for Kiddush and Motzi.
So Del mentioned most of our announcements. Next week is Compelling Conversations, which is always a fun one. Um, I believe we have, um, oh, it's not listed on here. I know Todd Politoff is going to be part of it, and I think it's also Jeff Metz from the JCC, and um, the rabbi will be leading a, there's, I think Iris Sternberg is also the, the moderator on that too. If I did that off from memory, that was good. Um, so that should be really interesting service. Um, I believe it's, it might be birthday Shabbat as well for February birthdays. Um, I have nothing in front of me, so I'm just guessing, but I'm, I think that's what I read. So um, I hope you'll join us for that. There is um, looking out a little bit further so you can march, mark your calendars. March 2nd is our Purim spiel. It's our, you know, our topsy-turvy dinner. It's going to be the Wizard of Oz, so start thinking about your costumes for Purim this year. We have a great cast. They've started rehearsals. It's adorable. Um, and everything else Del mentioned, you can find on our website. We have a great bulletin. There are lots of things happening. The Sisterhood to Bishvat Seder is this Sunday. Lots of fun stuff happening at the synagogue. So uh, if you have questions, I will attempt to answer them, and I can do that after the service. We're going to close tonight with Ose Shalom. Shalom, Bim Roma, who ya say shalom, Aleinu, ve al call Yisrael, ve yimeru, Amen. O say shalom, Bim Roma, who ya say shalom, Enjoy the Oneg, meet a new friend, say hello to an old one. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom.